Yo, 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 what's up? This is 8-Bit. I'm going to show you guys how to make a dubstep style wobble bass in Renoise. And step one is get any sample you want. <laughs> Literally anything. I'm going to just take this track I was working on. And this is like a song I was working on, but... <laughs> It doesn't really matter. You could literally have any, anything. You just cut it down to a tenth of a second. I swear. You probably never even heard this before, but this is my little trick. So I'm just cutting this sample down. It doesn't matter what it could, it could be anything. Celine Dion, if you want, so that the sample sounds like that. It's really tiny. Okay. I'll put the master scope on so you see what it looks like. It's just a little da 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 da. The secret here is. You go down to this loop, drop down, or drop up, whatever this is, and you say forward. So now it goes, makes that, right? It's really fast, though. I put it down to, like, the lower octave. Ooh, it's starting to sound a little mean, right? Lower than that. That's too mean. We don't want to go that mean. Start killing your cats or something. We don't want to do that. All right. So now, that's pretty cool itself, right? Um, so now that we've made this sample, I'm just playing it with the keyboard, you know, sounds pretty 8-bitty, right? Okay, so first thing we want to do to get this dubstep in, that doesn't sound like something from 1993, which isn't so bad, by the way, I mean, you know, dubstep did come from old techno and old techno rocks, and the innovators need to be given some more respect, nudge, nudge. Anyway, first things first, let's put the uh, AU audio unit, or on the PC, I guess it would be something similar to this, a low-pass filter of some kind. You could use the, the one included. Now, notice what happens here. It pops out. Obviously, it's got a cutoff and a resonance. But if I play the note and I move this, you start to see... slowly manually wobbling it with my mouse right but that sounds like utter bollocks as you guys in the UK would say that's what bollocks sounds like in Brooklyn we call that schnickerdoodles anyway so we want to automate that we don't want to control it with the dumb mouse in my case I have a trackball because I'm dope um, I'm a dope ball you gotta actually go to modulation and then you add the LFO device and then that pops out and then destination set that to the previous effect the low pass and then more specifically in the second drop down the cutoff resonance now look what happens this is already moving by itself if I play note Now, I'm not moving the mouse. This is happening by itself. Okay, that's pretty solid. Now, notice what happens when I alter the frequency over here on the LFO device. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Split the atom. No, I'm joking. Okay, so that sounds pretty cool, right? It's a little slow, so if I increase the tempo up here, like 134 or something, you know, then I can maximize my potential with this wobble. Okay, so that's your that's your basic wobble. Look at that going back and forth. Now you know you can make the amplitude. Put it up like 80, 80 offset. You know, if you 
want deeper bass, you could offset it a little lower. But if you want the maximum height, you could amp it a little higher. Now for the magic part. This is the part that really makes it stand out. If you add distortion in the native area, right? And you make it a fold type of distortion, it's like a drive of like 56 and maybe like a tone of like 53 do 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 star wars nothing but my okay now watch this <laughs> whack so i put it to the front make it not sound so choppy and we're getting somewhere we're getting somewhere my final little addition to this would be a little yeah. reverb and maybe the cathedral style just to make it really demonic sounding and then <laughs> Ooh, let's go down an octave two. Okay, that's the basic idea. I mean, I could start laying stuff down, you know, like boom and boom and boom, and just like start doing some crazy stuff over here play the pattern back like so you're like okay but I don't want to have to deal with this frequency thing all the time so that's where you go to automation look what I did I clicked on the little dot here I went to automation I'm gonna select frequency in the automation and I just like draw this out I'll go to points I'll just like go like Boom, 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 boom. And of course, as I'm doing, this corresponds to where I am in the track. And you get really specific with this, like Scream does or um, or Noisa. You can get really tight with this and like. <laughs> Basically, all that's doing is it's controlling this frequency thing here. So anyway, maybe the next tutorial I'll do something that actually sounds half good. This was, you know, this is just to get the basic sound. I didn't want to actually teach you guys how to make a track. Um, I wanted to just show you how to make the sound. So, all right, let me know. Leave comments, subscribe by clicking above. Let me know how you feel, what I should do next. All right, peace out, bros.